Hey everyone, Steve here from 11 is your channel where we talk about lucrative investment strategies and opportunities based on the requests from the 11 ish collective. I know there's like a billion IPOs that's coming in, but there are three that I'm super excited about and this is one of them. There's an absolute theme in the type of stocks I talk about these days and this is one of them. It's COVID friendly, it has long term investment benefits and it also has a speculative short term play as well. As the title suggests, it's Unity. Most of you have never heard of it and have no idea what they do, but I guarantee you if you play any form of mobile games, you've most likely used it. This is why this is one of my favorite picks. It's essentially a sleeper. You know, back in the Rice Rocket days, a sleeper is a super souped up car that just looks completely normal but goes super fast. This is it. This has the potential of growing super fast, but no one's heard of it because the benefits are not front facing. It plays a layer deeper. If you talk about a stock like Snowflake, it's obvious. But this one, mwah, it's probably not overpriced. It has a long term investment opportunity and it also has a speculative short term play. So if this is the type of content you've been looking for, please hit that like button and let's get started. Okay, so the easiest way to understand what Unity does is that it's a technical tool that allows you to build digital experience on top of. So imagine you want to build your own version of Mario. And instead of having Mario, you want to have Michelle Obama. And instead of having her save the princess, you want her to save the country, etc., etc. You want the map to be like more, I don't know, state oriented. You want the graphics to change a little bit so it's less Mario and more about America and the elections and everyone should go vote. Traditionally, if Unity didn't exist, then you have to build every part of the game from the ground up. But because Unity exists, you have this foundation layer so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Unity provides that to you and then you can just change the layers above of it. It'll save at least 50% of your development time. And this is the beauty of Unity. For example, a lot of the Zenga games are built on top of Unity. A lot of the glue games are built on top of Unity. And so that is the power of what Unity provides. About 50% of all of the games that you see are run on top of Unity. The other half, probably a huge percentage of that, is run off of the Unreal Engine, which is provided by Epic. That gives you an idea what it is. So another way to look at this is that iOS and Android, the app stores, they reduce the cost of publishing content. Digital engines like Unity and the Unreal Engine, it reduces the cost of developing content. And Unity makes a lot of sense both as a self-publisher like I am, or if you're creating content with a contractor. So for example, if you go to freelancer.com or Upworks and you want a game created for you, a lot of them will say, are you okay with me building it off of Unity? Because it reduces the development cost and timelines significantly. Case in point, they have 1.5 million active creators in any given month and they've made half a billion dollars, more than half a billion dollars. This is a sweet business very few people know about guys and now it's going public. The beauty of this, their main competitor is running into legal issues with Apple. Essentially, Apple wants to take 30% of any form of payment that's on the App Store. Regardless of whether you agree with that being too much or whatever, they're running into legal troubles with Apple, both with the Unreal Engine and also with their famous game Fortnite. Long story short, there's a whole lawsuit involved and the judge allowed the Unreal Engine to continue to operate without being blocked, but Fortnite is blocked. And the potential short-term speculation here is that if the Unreal Engine gets banned, all the developers that are using Unreal Engine to publish games they're gonna be forced to switch. Now, I think it's very unlikely because it's not just Epic Games, right? It's people who built games with the Unreal Engine, publishing their own unique content, trying to make money for both themselves and also making legitimate money for Apple. That'll be catastrophically bad. But if it does happen, Unity will essentially be a legal monopoly in my opinion, and that would send the Unity stock up like crazy. And frankly, I don't even think it needs to be black and white. If the mediation happens in a way where the Unreal Engine gets smacked in the face, Unity stock most likely will go up. Because again, there's no real other competition. Now the caveat here is that Unity's competitor, Unreal Engine or Epic Games, is backed by Tencent, and those are super deep pockets. So. Just keep that in mind because I really don't think it's gonna be a straightforward on and off kind of thing. And I think that mediation will happen 
and most likely there's going to be a settlement. Regardless, Unity is a great bet because not only are they incredibly adopted, and not only is the gaming community in love with both Unity and Unreal Engine, Unity is also moving into other fields like cinematics, commercial applications, B2B applications. They're essentially trying to capture new markets. And if you've heard me from my past videos, I love that. That is what generates explosive growth. Now that I've gotten all my excitement out of the way, there are two concerns I want you to be aware of. One is that if you're watching this video during its IPO phase, which in my opinion is the first six months, there is a high likelihood, more often than not, that the stock's gonna shoot up the first week, perhaps two weeks, and it's gonna start slowly trending downward for the first six, seven months. It's because there's a shit ton of institutional investors and eventually a shit ton of you know investors who are basically employees who are given the stock at like 10 cents, 20 cents a share. They're now suddenly allowed to sell their stocks and they're going to because they're gonna make a killing. Because of that, the stock's still gonna naturally trend down. But as the business proof business value via the earnings reports, and you know, we'll see all of the new markets they capture and how effective they are. If everything aligns, the stock will start trending up again after that period. And so what I'm saying is that it's a little bit precarious for you to invest right now, but there's going to be buying opportunities really soon. If you think you're gonna be getting FOMO or you're interested in that short-term play, I completely get it. But long-term wise, I suggest that you invest after the six month period. The second concern is COVID. It's a double-edged sword. I think the explosive growth makes sense, right? E-commerce and the gaming community, they're exploding right now in a positive way. Now, the challenge here is that I'm not so sure if there will be this many gaming development after COVID because the gaming development follows the advent or the explosive growth of gaming. Now, if people start playing less games after COVID, then you presume that, you know, that revenue is gonna drop a bit and therefore gaming development will be less hot and that will drop a bit and therefore this might drop a bit too. Now, the caveat here is that Unity is obviously tackling outside of the gaming community now. So if they're very successful and they do it quickly, then none issue. Right, so this is the beauty of investing in Unity. They have a proven track record, they already make a shit ton of money, and they can capture more markets. I really like this business model. In fact, I would choose a platform-based business model over a unique content producing business model any day. Great ideas will build on top of your platform. Versus if you build a great idea, the next expectation is for you to build another great idea, and the onus is gonna be on you, right? It's way harder to continually and consistently build great ideas. But if you build a great platform, great ideas will come to you. So you're essentially crowdsourcing great ideas and you get a commission out of that. It's beautiful, I love it. This is why I invested in Google when Android just came out and everyone thought it was a money pit. But to me, that was a great platform. Great ideas are gonna pile in and it's gonna help the Google ecosystem as a whole and I quadruple my money. So this is all I had to say about Unity. I hope this all made sense because it does get a little bit technical. Please leave me a comment and let me know if it did make sense to you and your thoughts, right? I want to hear back from you. If you have any edge that you want to talk about and share with the Eleveners Collective, I would love to hear from you as well. If you have any questions, concerns, or requests, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a note. I'll definitely hit you back. Deborah, I definitely plan on putting out a video for JFrog. Ooh-wee. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I look forward to working with you next time.